Hey folks, it's Dag. I'm doing this video about the main landing gear and brakes on the MSL. I get a lot of questions about it. And uh, keep in mind, this is a 61 pound airplane with 188 inch wing, so it's got to have some pretty stout gear. I designed the gear in Fusion 360. Uh, I was planning on using thin wall uh, 4130 chrome molly, half inch tubing. And, you know, it took me a while to really get this uh, kind of all jigged up so I could weld it square. Keep in mind, if you're going to make your landing gear, they've got to be square. And you've got to also just kind of think about what's going on with a really hard landing. You know, we all don't plan on having hard landings, but sometimes when you take 61 pounds and slam it into the ground, you got to make sure your gear is going to stay together. I had taught myself how to TIG weld when I did my ultralight air bike project, so I was really, really happy with the TIG welding on this. It just came out perfect, folks. I love the way that the, uh, the whole gear came out on this was just perfect. When you think about the axles on it, I used 3 8 inch all thread and got my lathe and machined down so that the uh, wheels could slide on. Now the wheels do have their own bearings, so they're not just rotating on that shaft. They actually press on a little bit. They're not too tight. Here's all the 3D printed parts. The rims were 3D printed, the brake shoes were 3D printed, and the other brake parts were 3D printed. And it worked really, really good. The bungees, folks, were just something I bought on Amazon. It's... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's 8th inch cord uh, elastic, and it works perfect. I have two years or two and a half years now on these bungees, and they just hold up really, really well. And you can go to Amazon, you just type in uh, elastic cord, I think is what you want to look for. So when we think about landing this airplane, we all want to have smooth landings, okay? We all are just hoping that we grease it on, and most of the time, I grease the landings on with this airplane. However, I do get into some uh, porpoising or uh, I bounce this plane. Like here, you can see, now keep in mind the landing gear is really far forward on this. So if I do land too fast, it pitches the nose up a little bit. So three point landings are the best way to land this airplane. A main gear landing, you gotta really be hauling ass. But here you saw me just drop it on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, essentially folks, oh and here I'm demonstrating the brakes. Okay, I got one wheel. Uh, well, I mean, I was really putting the brakes on kind of tight on that one wheel. But I want you to see also how this plane, um, ha having the independent brakes, just really how kick-ass it is. And just so you know, the yarn's on the wing on this airplane because I was doing stall videos or stall testing videos. That's the reason the yarn's on it. But notice here how I pivot it around one wheel, and I'm really, you know, locking up that one brake. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when you talk about the uh, landing gear uh, brakes, I 3D printed, I mean, I designed everything in three, Fusion 360, 3D printed it, but there had to be some hard, um, there had to be some aluminum in this. The brake lining had to be aluminum because the ABS against ABS would start to melt. And I don't mind if the shoes melt a little bit, but I needed to press in an aluminum tube there. Uh, and you can see the bearings in there and you can see the bolts that, and nuts that hold the two halves of the wheel together or the rim. Here are the brake shoes. And I'll show you what they look like worn after a season in a minute. And here on the left-hand side of that red disc is the actuator. There's a servo, a high-torque servo that turns that cam. And that cam pushes the two shoes apart, and they engage the brake lining. And uh, it works perfect. Here is the entire laning gear uh, system right there, which is the uh, basically everything that makes up the laning gear, excluding the tail gear. Here's what the brake shoes looked after one season, and they're not worn down too much. There's a rubber band that holds them in place so they're not always rubbing. That's what the groove in the middle of the shoe's for. And here's the hard point, and these are aluminum. They're connected to hardwood. That's the only hardwood in the whole airplane. Everything else is balsa wood, a little carbon fiber, and a little bit of plywood. So, folks, when it comes to landing a 61-pound airplane and having a hard landing, and this landing here, folks, was part of my stall testing video where I was showing how the yarn... Uh, moves around when you stall a wing, but I do an aggravated stall right as I land here to try to get the wing to fully stall, but it really also shows really just how kick-ass these landing gears work. So watch the plane pitch up here, and you'll see the whole, all the yarn starts moving around. Right here I'm pitching up hard, all the wings stalling, and then kaboom, and look at that gear go. I mean, that's perfect. That's the way the landing gear is supposed to work. So, hey, thanks for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe and follow and share my videos everywhere, please. And I hope you find these informative and everybody have a great day. Rock on. Bye-bye.